Welcome back to the front lines, and we are continuing the invasion of China here with the Imperial Japanese Army and Navy. I want to thank everybody that commented in the last video, and I hope you guys keep it up. I got so much good advice. One of the bits of advice that we got are these SNLF troops, these guys right here, they are landing troops. And what they're supposed to do is basically get behind the enemy lines and kind of help us a little bit in conquering the territory. Now, I'm not entirely sure just how far back we're supposed to go with them. I don't want to get too crazy, uh, but I'm probably just going to keep them over here for now. And eventually, I will get them off the ships. In fact, we could do it now and drop right there. Oh, uh, nope. Looks like we're going to have to be a bit closer. And perhaps this particular group doesn't actually have selectable units. Uh, but those SNLF troops are made for that. So in the future, we're going to try to use them to get behind the enemy lines over here and assist our boys on the front line. For now, our push has been going great. We started over here in front of Peking. We've taken Tianjin. We are about to take this city right here. But before I do that, I just want to kind of assist in destroying that unit. And this is my new plan. First, let's get a nice attack. My new plan, number one, we want to try and encircle these guys right here as best we can. So we're going to continue with that encirclement maneuver. Um, I'm also going to bring units up to defend at Peking. So these guys, these reinforcements that arrived a few days ago or a few weeks ago, really, are going to start heading to the front lines here. And I'm going to create an army group over here where you see this peninsula. Uh, and then I'll create an army group over here west of Peking. So we'll have two groups, basically like a two-pronged attack, attacking down the line and trying to encircle the Chinese in the middle. Now, I've noticed that there are a bunch of mountains here, of course, so we're going to have to skirt those mountains and just stay on the coast of the river uh, with one group. And with the other group, we're going straight for these peninsulas, straight for the coastline, pretty much. I will, however, want to keep one of these rail lines open at a minimum. If I could keep both, that's even better. Well, enough talk. Let's get to war, my friends. Pushing on through. I should have started softening them up a bit. Let's start softening these guys up with some airstrikes. Good old Japanese Air Force has done a good job despite so many enemies and pretty hard terrain, a lot of jungle, a lot of forest, uh, mountain, at getting some decent hits. So here we go. Just going to move him out. I'm going to take the Japanese Korean Army. And this is going to be their first time in action. For those of you that don't know, um, I wouldn't say that the Japanese, that the Koreans were slaves to the Japanese, but they were essentially puppets of the Japanese, and many Koreans did fight in the Japanese army. There we go. Managed to force him back. Uh, and this is our SNLF or NLF unit. So you know what? I'm going to start actually heading back with him. Uh, I'll bring another unit here to cover his retreat. Let's do something like, can this guy get over there? Yeah, we'll do something like this. A bit of a hectic move, but as long as it works, we'll do something like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. I doubt the Chinese have enough for a counterattack. And look at that. We even did a little bit of damage. I'm also going to take that town right there, Hu Min. Um, but I'll take it with another unit. I want to just go ahead, take my position. Hu Min is ours. And then, of course, send a unit over here. Make sure that that general for the Shanghai Expeditionary Force is very close behind. And, of course, keep on pushing with the rest of our forces. Some of these guys will be heading over here, of course, to Tsingtao. The rest will be holding off the enemy. And this initial front line, the um, Indian Mixed Brigades, it's really most of them are Indian Mixed Brigades. We are going to keep just a line here in front to stop the enemy from any breakthroughs. And, of course, we'll be slowly and steadily moving that over to the Yellow River. This was the objective that I claimed in the beginning of the game. I really want to make it there at a minimum. Once we get to the Yellow River, we rethink our plans. We uh, come up with a new uh, approach. And like I said, if you guys want to let me know in the comments, I would love to get some feedback. Share your plans with me. If we take those plans, we will give you some credit. Let's make sure we don't have any other attacks we could do. Here we do, but it's actually not in our favor. So I'm going to let these guys... Uh, rest and recuperate. The weather's fine. No rain, nothing like that. So, so far, things have been pretty calm for the boys on the front here. Uh. 
And one huge goal would be to cut off that rail line. And I'm hoping these two armies are going to be able to do it, but I think we're going to need additional reinforcements. But maybe we'll have a new goal. We'll put Sing Tsao as a secondary objective, even though it was a primary objective for this army. And the real objective is going to be to cut off their rail lines. So as you can see already right there, we could probably cut them off quite a bit. Do something like this. Look at that. Immediately eliminated the 17th army there. Uh, and again, I'm just going to try to keep them away from their own rail lines in any way I can. It's a pretty risky attack. They're actually quite strong there. Uh, let's carry out the attack, but with some air support. A bit too far. All right, let's not worry about that. It, it really is quite risky to go for that one. Um, this would be quite a strong attack. All right, let's go for this. And sure enough, forcing the enemy back. We're going to go ahead, grab that gap. Keep on pushing. I think right now, as long as we have the momentum, we should certainly take it. But of course, surrounding these guys like we did in the beginning of this battle would be much more effective. Let's take that unit. All right, folks. I'm hoping that this is going to work the way I think. We're going to take that NLF unit over here and try to get behind enemy lines. The rest of these guys are all bound for the Tsingtao front. These uh, these armies over here, the 29th, the 1st, the 12th, etc. And right now we're just restructuring that front line. Making it as beefy as we can. We've got the generals close behind to assist. But you can see we're going to be switching out quite a lot of units here on this front line for sure. We're going to have to pull the guys off the front line that have seen combat the last few weeks. Uh, and I'm sure, like for instance, we see here their combat effectiveness. I'm sure they need some rest. It's actually pretty good at 75%, 78%. But we do have units here, 42%, 44%. From my understanding, anything below 40 cent is, uh, any, anything below 30%, excuse me, is considered completely combat ineffective. Uh, if you guys want to double, ch double check me on that, feel free. But we've got a pretty solid line here. Now we have to start flanking. We've got to start coming up with new approaches here. Or else it's going to be nothing more than just a full-on attack, basically. Um, and that's not what I'm looking for. Make sure he's in range there of everybody. There we go. If you see that little um, orange marker, that lets us know that he's in range of these guys over here. Not bad. We're also going to take a look here at our deployment center, and we do have a 22nd army. We also have another SNLF force on the way. Um, so yet another naval force on the way that's going to hopefully be able to help us out here. The Kure SNLF. And as for this battleship group, um, I'm actually going to bring them over here to Tsingtao. Just kind of keep an eye. I'm not sure if he can provide any sort of scout knowledge or anything like that. Um, but just having them close to where we plan to land, I think, is a pretty decent idea. There we go. Forced an enemy to retreat. I'd love to take that city tile, and that's going to be the city of Yangchun. Yangchun. Um, so another grab there. I didn't even intend to take that one, but I'll grab it. Could do another attack right there. And I'll switch this guy out next turn. We're going to have a brand new Japanese 16th Army uh, attacking their 89% combat effectiveness. I think they should be able to break through that little gap without issue. All right, here you go, China. Now, I'd be curious, if anybody wants to take a look at the date there, September 29th, 1937, and let us know how far along the Japanese army was at that date right now, um, and whether we're farther or not as far along, let us know in the comments. I don't think we are, because they went for that naval invasion with the SNLF, uh, and I need to look and see exactly where they dropped those forces. However, we do have a solid um, offensive line south of Beijing. There's no doubt about that. The Chinese are scattered, but I believe they're reforming north of the Yellow River over here on this rail line. And what do you know, guys? The rain has started. 
that's going to slow us down quite a lot. Thankfully, most of our army, and I would say this is one of the huge benefits of the Japanese army, is not really mechanized. So um, we're going to be able to move around still, uh, but obviously with some difficulty. All right, folks, back to our turn. And over here, we've got that wonderful NLF unit. I'm going to see if we can't get him to drop. Um, obviously, we're not getting normal reinforcements because we're nowhere near a supply line. But I just want to see, and once again, unable to disembark. So I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. If somebody wants to let us know in the comments, please do. Um, maybe these guys can only disembark at port cities like this. But I would think that um, the SNLF, now we've got NLF troops, it might not be the same thing, um, can only disembark at port cities. We'll have to wait and see. I'm going to try one more time over here. But once again, doesn't seem like we can do it yet. It's not really that big of an issue because we are rolling through. And so far, all of the objectives that we're trying to meet have been met. The initial objectives, I kind of sound like Vladimir Putin right now. Well, the objectives have been met, except all the landing craft has been destroyed. No, trust me, we're, we're going to make it through just fine. Um, I do want to bring in these reinforcing armies, though. And it looks like there might be a little bit uh, more work to be done over here on the what I like to call the Tsingtao front. We still got this annoying army right there, the Chinese 27th Army Group. Um, but right now, I'm going to focus on breakthroughs. So really just trying to force these guys to fall back. And then, of course, break on through to the rest of the enemy forces. I'm actually going to hit that unit with a lot of air power. Much air power as we have. I wouldn't call it a lot. And actually, we might ignore that unit despite him being somewhat weaker let's go for this unit right here uh it's a um com hey com this must be mao's forces communist 15th army uh this is when the chinese republic and the people's republic of china were um working together to fight the japanese so i believe that those red icons are mao's forces the color's right the color scheme's definitely right so here we go we are commencing this plan of course remember trying to get over there to the east side of the river we should be able to break through these guys pretty quickly although they are in a pretty good defense position and you can see that the enemy defense has definitely improved with the rain and i think it's just the rain is giving them that that little extra boost um obviously it's much tougher to charge through them through rain i'm actually going to move him out of the way and move this guy up to the city lost quite a few guys carrying out that attack but they all die in the name of the emperor if we have any additional forces on the way just the general i want to keep them fairly close yeah that'll have to do for now let's take a look at the deployable troops uh, again, December 10th, so still, um, still gonna take some time. What I'm actually gonna do is I am gonna purchase some additional Marines. Uh, these SNLF troops that are supposed to be able to be dropped behind enemy lines. Let's get some Maizuro SNLF, and let's get some Yokosuka SNLF troops. Another thing that I really haven't done much of, that I think we probably should here, is purchasing some bombers. Uh, some additional air units. Um, the ones we're using right now are pretty useful, but there's just not many of them, not enough to really make much of a difference. Now, I'm certainly curious as to whether the rain is going to affect supply, um, but I'm hoping it isn't. We're going to end the turn here, and let's just see if we get those reinforcements like we usually do, or if the rain is somehow going to affect that. We need to find a place to break through, and I'm thinking the most likely place is actually going to be the center um, and then we break either left or right. Um, I'm not sure, especially in the north there near Huawei, uh, where we've got some of Mao's units, whether we can even break through. They're pretty damn tough. Um, but I'm going to give these guys another run. And that 6-5 army, he's brand new to the fighting. He's got a bunch of fresh troops. Hopefully, they'll be the ones to force the Chinese back. All right. One of our fleets has no supplies. It's likely this guy that we can't seem to get on land, unfortunately.
So what I'm going to do with them anyway, if they can't assist us there, they can at least get back here. And here you'll see they'll probably drop without issue. Disembark. Yeah, pretty much. So maybe it's just a simple, you know, we're supposed to take this port before we can drop these guys off. But they were supposed to be sort of, um, how can I explain this? Uh, a behind the lines sort of troop. So that is something to keep in mind here. Now we can go ahead and at least supply the beachhead here with these larger craft. We're going to do the same over here. Just try and supply the beachhead wherever we're able. These guys can just reinforce and upgrade. We're not going to even bother. But I am going to extend the line. Again, Tsingtao is a huge goal of ours. So trying to take that city from the enemy uh, would allow us to bring a bunch of naval units in here and start attacking south towards the Yellow River, uh, basically continuing our main goal. So here we go. Before we do that, though, see if we can hit it with a few planes. Nope, it's out of range of our bombers, unfortunately. So let's hit some units that are in range. Little sacrificial lamb there, Mao's unit for sure. And we are just going <clears> to <throat> completely crush that guy. There we go. Completely force the 15th Army to retreat. He's not coming back to the fighting. And we're going to continue that attempt to break through the center here. I really do think it's possible. Pretty much just weakening these um, defensive points over here. Look at that. 6-5, and we can get a 5-5 in there as well. Should be an overwhelming attack, although he's run out of action points this turn. Another army routed. Just amazing, guys. So this is exactly what we want. And look at that. The front line has never looked better. It's getting stronger and stronger. We're bringing in additional reinforcements for the Tsingtao front. I think this front will hold on its own just fine. But of course, we'll keep those massive attacks there. And I see why they were so desperate to defend this area. This is Shimenshi. This is another uh, city uh, for the uh, Chinese. And let's continue. Now, maybe, I, you know, initially I said that the northern part was going to be the hardest to flank on. I've got to change the plans now, because look at how easily we busted through there. Not bad. Nice attack. Did manage to kill one of our uh, units as well. Yeah, it's a rough one. We don't necessarily want to push through with all of those units. So far, so good. Look at that line. Now, this central part above what looks to be um, a steel factory. Yep, definitely a steel factory. Um, I think this is where they have the heaviest defenses. And once again, calm second army. Somebody tell me. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's communists. Uh, these are the communist troops, Mao's troops, assisting the um, Republic of China. And I have to say, right now, the communist troops are performing a lot better. No wonder Mao eventually won the uh, Civil War. There we go. Another city, Qinan. So now we've got Qinan under our control. I mean, we are just walking through here, man. Of course, it's not over, and I don't like that potential breakthrough. It's pretty risky to do this, but we need to get a general down here anyway to reinforce these guys. Um, I'm going to bring these generals quite a bit closer. All right, additional forces here for that Tsingtao front, but I did not expect to do that well. Um, we're actually on a pretty good path. I'm going to take this garrison unit and drop him in Peking. And as for this Chinese garrison army, um, we might drop them somewhere over here. They are Chinese, but of course they are loyal to the emperor. You know what? Why didn't I think of this before? We're simply going to fall back. Leave the city. We'll come back for it. I don't want to have this unit trapped and cut off uh, just to take a city. You know, we can always come back. But take a look at the gains there in episode two so far. Uh, again, a huge thank you to anybody that watches this particular series. I'd really like to try to get a thousand views per video of this. And if I could get more, that's even better. If you guys want to help me make that happen, always like and comment. And if you're new to our channel, please do consider subscribing for some additional episodes. Um, typically, I wait a lot longer to get these out, but I decided to go ahead and just give you guys an episode early anyway. Uh, because I really do want this thing to take off. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Take care, and I'll see you in the next bit of fighting.